Ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally arrived. We're getting ready to set sail on the Disney Dream for a five night Marvel Day at Sea cruise. This is our first time ever doing a special sailing like this, so I'm very excited to take you guys along for this adventure. Whether you guys are watching the individual video or the multi hour long vlog, I just want to take a quick second to introduce myself. My name is Adrian, and I specialize in theme park and Disney Cruise Line content here on YouTube. If you enjoy anything that you see here in today's video and you want to see more like it, then please help us out by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. We just crossed 50,000 subscribers and I'd love to have you along for the journey to 100K. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the day started. We're gonna check out of our hotel and head on downstairs and hop on board a shuttle to take us over to Port Everglades where we're gonna board the Disney Dream. Mm. And here is my Embarkation Day Fit Check. I am representing Miles Morales over here on the t-shirt. And I have Venom and Carnage on this awesome Roosevelt shirt that Coda got me for Christmas. And because it is Embarkation Day, it is time to put on our luggage tags that were sent to us in the mail. And welcome, babe, to Port Everglades, Disney's brand new terminal. This is our first time here. I am just a little bit overwhelmed. There's so much I'm wanting to try and figure out what. There's an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck. It's got the Mickey bars. <laughs> <laughs> but the ship is right here. You can see Disney Dream right there through the grates. Let's see if we can do a little bit of exploring before we get on board the ship. Our port arrival time isn't until 11.15. So we have a little bit of time to kill. Let's see what information we can find out. So this over here is the bag drop off area. If you are coming via bus or car, you're gonna stop over here and you're gonna hand off your bags to the porters. Make sure you tip them. And then you're gonna head on down this way and follow the signage to terminal four. And it looks like further on down this way around the corner, there's additional bag drop off as well. If you are parking your vehicle, you can come on down this way and there's a sign right over there behind this Avis truck that says parking. You're gonna get your parking ticket and pay for parking right over here and then head on up the ramp to the parking garage above. Aw, take a look at this mural outside. It's so cute with the dolphins and all the characters. All right, guys, we took the elevator to the very top of the parking garage and take a look at this, the Disney Dream and its brand new home here in Port Everglades. Wow, and we can get really close to the ship too. I can go all the way up to that wall over there, but granted, we're not gonna get as nice of a photo, but it's still really cool to see that you can still come to the top of this parking garage and get some great photos of the ship. And if for whatever reason you are parking on the very top of the garage, you can head on over here to the elevators and head on down to level one to check in. And in case you guys are curious, here are the parking rates for Port Everglades. So something I completely neglected to mention while I was actually there, let me go ahead and show you guys where you need to go. So when you enter Port Everglades in Terminal 4, you're gonna be entering through here into the parking garage. This straightaway right here is where we dropped off our bags. When you're done, you're gonna make your way over here on the sidewalk and you're gonna walk along the side of the building. You're gonna turn over here and right here in this area is where you are going to wait to enter the building and you're gonna enter in from right over here in this area. Inside over here in this area is going to be the main terminal and when you get off the ship, this area right here is going to be where you pick up your bags. Now, in case you guys are interested in a little photo op, you guys can keep walking down these stairs over here. You walk to the very end of the building, walk across the street and come over here in this area where there aren't any cars, it's all barricaded off and you can come over here and get a picture with the ship and the Disney Cruise Line logo right over here on the outside of the terminal. So over here is where you are going to wait for your port arrival time to be called. We miscalculated, we thought we were 11.15, we're not, we're 11.45. <laughs> so we're gonna be chilling here, waiting for just a little bit. And we've made it in, into the Pearl Platinum line. Oh my gosh, this is our first look at the brand new terminal. It is nice. It smells really good in here too. And here we are guys, we made it past security and we are in the terminal. I gotta say guys, this place is really nice. It's definitely a very, very different feel compared to what we have over in Port Canaveral. But I love the undersea theme and Coda is loving the Nemo theme. We can see all the beautiful artwork on the wall over here. We have the bubbles on the ceiling. We can see Nemo, Marlin and Dory all the way down there. 
it is gorgeous in here guys as soon as you get past security which is off in this direction over here on the left you're going to have your desks over here where you can talk to anybody about possible upgrades or any other changes that you might want made to your room assignments and right up there is the concierge lounge so if you guys are in concierge you're going to come over here you're going to get your photo taken with one of the backdrops before going through the mickey funnel and upstairs to the concierge area a little bit of a different process compared to what we have in port canaveral there's definitely no shortage of seating here in the waiting area inside terminal 4 plenty of outlets as well you can see each of these pillars has a bunch of outlets all the way around it we have a photo op right over there and off from the main area right back here in the corner we have our um, vending machines also something important for you guys to know off from the main area over here on the right is going to be your restrooms all right babe so as a finding nemo fan how do you like this brand new terminal over here in port everglades it's really pretty uh, i do wish they had at least bubbles on the solid blue walls there's a lot of solid blue, but I do like the big old murals. I mean, to They're be really fair, cute. the solid blue walls have waves. They got, they got little waves down at the bottom. All right, current time is 11.42 in the morning and they have just started boarding the ship. Overall, not bad. I think things have started a little bit earlier over at Port Canaveral, but I'm not trying to compare the two. 11.40, 11.45 ish, that's a pretty good time to start boarding. Of course, concierge upstairs were the very first to board and now they're calling boarding groups one and two. We're boarding group six, so it's not gonna be long now before we get on board. Our boarding group has been called, now it is it's time to get a family photo in front of these walls over here before heading on through the funnel. Up the escalator we go to the ship. Make some noise, guys. Make some noise. Woo we're going. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on down. Hello. Hey, you are. Hey. Can I have your family name, please? Vasquez and La Palm family. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Vasquez and Lafon family. Woohoo! <laughs> we made it! We are back on board the Disney Dream. Coda, this is your first ship, right? Yep. Yeah, your first ever Disney cruise was on the Dream. Uh, and we're back. Very similar to the Disney Fantasy. Uh, similar but different. I love it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna make our way over to guest services because I need to confirm a rumor that you're no longer allowed to hide ducks on board a Disney cruise ship anymore. It's been circulating online. I need to ask guest services right now if that is a thing. Ah, we have finally made it out to the top deck and check it out. It is a gorgeous day here in Fort Lauderdale. You can see they have everything set up for the sail away party. Oh, I'm so excited and take a look at this. We have a zip line. <laughs> They're going to be utilizing the zip line during Marvel Day at Sea, the first time that the Disney Dream ever had a zip line that went across from one funnel to the other. I am so excited to check all of this out. This is going to be such an amazing cruise. So what I'm going to do right now is head on over to Cabanas and meet up with Coda and her family, which by the way, I'm sailing with Coda's family. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. So we have a rather large group of people with us and um, we're going to have something rather small for lunch because we do have Palo dinner tonight and I'm super excited for that. Time to head on in to Cabanas. Got our food at Cabanas. I opted for something rather small because we are going to Palo tonight. I have some meat from the carving station. I have a strip loin, some mashed potatoes, and a salad. Something simple. I am trying to lose weight still. I am on a diet and I am trying my best to eat healthy-ish on this cruise. <laughs> of course, I'm not gonna deprive myself completely while on this cruise. The plan is to just not overeat. <laughs> so we have one dessert and it is my favorite, the Oreo cheesecake. One thing I'm also making an effort to try and do on this cruise compared to others is try not to be as lazy. And if I'm traveling somewhere that's within two decks, um, I'm gonna try and take the stairs. <laughs> I am very out of shape when it comes to taking the stairs, so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but you know what? Anything helps in order to try and not gain weight when you're on a cruise. All right, so I made my way up to deck 13 because I wanted to get an overview of Port Everglades. Like I said earlier, this is my first time here at this port. I have never been to this area before, so I don't really know what it looks like and or what to expect, and so far I am thoroughly impressed. Visually, from this side, it is very pretty. 
Over here, it's a lot more industrial, and on the opposite side of the ship, it's a lot more industrial as well. But overall, this is gorgeous. This is very pretty, and I love we have a waterway over here with a bridge and a massive yacht right there. Take a look at that. Holy cow, that thing is massive. Over here on deck 13 aft is where you're also going to find Goofy's Golf Simulator, and we have the mini golf or putt putt course. Oh my gosh, take a look at that little ferry over there. It's very reminiscent to what you would find going to the Magic Kingdom or the Liberty Bell. One of the two, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's still really cool to see. On the opposite side, things are a lot more industrial. As I said, we also have Liberty of the Seas over there from Royal Caribbean. They are docked and getting ready to head out as well. And here is the rest of Port Everglades. So I assume we back out and we kind of do a little 180 and we go out that little inlet right there. That's gonna be so much fun to watch. Also, check out these mansions over here. Oh my gosh. I would love to live in one of these. I'm sure their flood insurance is through the roof, but still really cool. If I had that kind of money, I would not mind living here. Oh, hello there, Mr. Pelican. Bye, Mr. Pelican. Oh, coming back for more? So right behind me is actually the entrance to the aqueduct, which is the water coaster over here on both the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy. Embarkation day, when you first get on, is the best time to get on the aqueduct if that is something that you are wanting to prioritize. I always recommend for first time cruisers, if you guys are adamant about doing this, always make sure you either pack a change of clothes or pack a bathing suit in your carry-on bag that you bring on board the ship and immediately hit up the aqueduct when you first get on the ship because that is gonna be the only time where you are gonna find it with practically no weight at all. Things at the family pool are starting to pick up. Lots of kids and families are making their way over to the area to start relaxing. All right, rooms are gonna be opening in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead on downstairs and wait. State rooms have been opened. It is time to go explore. All right, Coda went ahead and used her magic band to open up the stateroom door. We have our room keys. Go ahead on inside, baby. Ah, home sweet home for the next five nights. First things first, gotta turn down that temperature and hit quick cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank the fantastic sponsor of today's video, Magical Day Creations. Magical Day Creations is your one-stop shop for anyone looking to customize their Disney World or Disney Cruise Line vacation. From custom 3D printed mini ears to their number one best-selling cruise door magnets, Magical Day Creations is sure to have the perfect product for you and any member of your family. What you guys are seeing here are just some of the incredible magnets that Magical Day Creations has kindly sent to us over the course of the last few years. We absolutely love them. The quality is incredible and they're fully customizable. And check this out guys, new for 2024, Magical Day Creations has released a brand new line of magnets to use inside your stateroom. These magnets are very strong and can actually hold quite a bit of weight. The magnets that you see here with an A and a K can actually be used to hold things such as lanyards, hats, and towels. The blue Mickey head magnet can be used to hold your Disney ears that you may bring or buy on the cruise. These magnets are super useful and are now 100% a must pack item for us from now on. When you guys are done shopping, be sure to use code TPX10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to MagicalDayCreations.com for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the cruise vlog. So we just opened up our envelope with our key cards and take a look at that. They're still 25th anniversary. What the heck? That ended last year, in the summer of last year. I'm actually very surprised that they're still 25th anniversary. I'm not complaining though, that's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the room tour. We are in room 10528. This is a deluxe ocean view stateroom with veranda. We're starting out here on the veranda. We have our chairs and table. Let's go ahead inside. And we went ahead and closed our balcony door because it is very loud outside. Soon as we get in here, we have Coda on our sofa, which also folds down into a bed. I'd also like to point out the bunk bed up here as well. We do have a coffee table over here in the center. We have our desk space over here with a chair. We have a couple of dressers. We also have a cabinet over here. One thing I also wanna point out that everyone misses, pull out your chair and there's a drawer over here. Aw, there's normally there's normally um, free postcards in here. Unfortunate. Leaving notes. 
<laughs> it's fine. Over here, you will find your uh, morning room service breakfast card. You fill this out and you leave it out on your door at night if you want room service. We have our Castaway Club gifts over here that we are going to just leave there for just a moment. We, of course, have a nice big mirror over here. Hello. We have our TV, which comes out and swivels, which is really nice. Go ahead and push that back. Down here, we have our mini fridge. I need to go ahead and put my medicine in there. We have some more storage space over there above the TV, and we have some artwork on the wall over here facing the bed. This is, I believe, a queen or full size bed. I don't know bed sizes, guys. It's a bed. It fits two people. <laughs> On one side of the bed, we have the telephone over here. We also have a couple of light switches. This room is connecting to the room next door and we actually have Coda's family in the room next door. So we are gonna be opening this door up at some point. On the opposite side of the bed over here, we do have another little table with a small drawer. We also have an outlet over here underneath this tray right here. Next to the connecting door, we have some more storage space over here. We have some dressers, we have some glasses, some more storage over here. And now let's move on to the closets. Over here we have our first closet space. We have our life jackets up there. We have some hangers. We also have the ladder for the bunk bed and some more storage down here. And right next door, we have another closet space opening up. We immediately see our laundry bag over here. There it is in focus. We have some more hangers over here. We have our safe and some more storage space. And last but not least, let's go ahead and explore the bathrooms. So we do have the split bathroom concept with I bed with I with Mike Tyson. And last but not least, we have our split bathrooms. Let's go ahead and explore. Over here, we have our shower room. It comes with a mirror, a sink, plenty of towels and we have our tub. Now, on our last cruise, when we were on the Fantasy, we were in a family ocean view stateroom which had a larger shower with a rainfall shower head. Unfortunately, that is not the case for this cruise. We do have a standard tub, which you can find in just about any room other than a family room. We also have our H2O products over here, which we did learn that Disney bought the licensing and like the rights to H2O. So it is the exact same formula, just different branding on board the ship. We're gonna go ahead and close this. And right next door, we have our toilet room. Pretty standard. You have your toilet, you have your sink, you have your soap, you have your mirror, a little bit of storage down below, nothing too fancy. Look at her, I leave her alone for two minutes and she's already crocheting. Are you crocheting another duck? Yeah. Which, by the way, guys, I don't think I ever answered the question earlier. You are allowed to hide ducks on Disney cruise ships. The whole rumor that was posted online spiraled out of control from an Ask Disney page where someone asked a question and apparently you weren't allowed to, according to someone at Disney. But no, I went to guest services myself and I asked them and they said that you are allowed to hide as many ducks as you want all over the ship. So Coda loves to crochet her ducks as you guys saw on our last Disney Cruise Vlog series where we were supposed to go to Bermuda. She crochets her ducks and now she's working on some more to hide during this cruise. We're so happy that it's still a thing. One of our bags has arrived at the room. Thankfully, it's the biggest one with the majority of our clothes. So you guys know what time it is. Time to unpack. Because it is a five night cruise and not like a three or four night, I think it's worth it to unpack. Similar to what we did on the eight night. All right, let's go over our stateroom gifts. Now, depending on what level of Castaway Club you are will determine what specific gift you get. Now, these are our lanyards that they give us. This is gold for Coda, and if I recall correctly, Correctly, this is her last cruise as gold and this is the platinum lanyard now up top we have our beach towel which you get as a platinum castaway club member over here we have a wet dry bag which you get as a gold member and last but not least we have our castaway club tote which you get as a silver so one thing that i always like to do on day one of the ship while we have a little bit of downtime in our stateroom right before the muster drill is i like to go on the disney cruise line navigator app and i like to go into the explorer tab and i like to go through and look at everything that's going on on the ship day by day so you can start from day one over here in Fort Lauderdale and you can see what activities are going on throughout the day so for example at 4 30 we have the sail away party that's already been hearted 
If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that Mickey Mouse is meeting on the balcony of Deck 4 at 5.15. Elemental is being shown in the Buena Vista Theater at 5.30. However, the most important thing that I'm wanting to pay attention to right now is tomorrow because tomorrow is the actual Marvel Day at Sea. The most important day for us tomorrow as content creators because there is a lot to see and do. And it's always very hard to find the exact schedule of things before you actually get on board the ship. So I am going to be screen recording my phone and I'm going to be posting a separate video of every activity that you guys can expect to see on Marvel Day at Sea. That'll be posted at a later time. But I wanted to go ahead and get started and figure out what times and what characters we're meeting where on the ship. So for example, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. is Captain America Sam Wilson. He's going to be meeting at Evolution on Deck 4 aft. Not long after that, we have Black Panther T'Challa. A little bit further down the line, we have Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel. We have Shuri as Black Panther at 9.15, there's going to be a lot going on tomorrow for Marvel Day at Sea, which we will of course get into more in the next video from the actual Marvel Day at Sea. But this is an example of something that I highly recommend anyone doing when you first get on a Disney cruise, whether it's your first time or your 20th time on a cruise. Always, always, always take the time to sit in your stateroom, relax for a little bit on that first day, because let's face it, embarkation day can get very hectic very quickly and it can be quite overwhelming overwhelming sometimes. Take a break inside your stateroom, pull out the Navigator app, and start going through as a family and harding different activities that are going to be going on throughout the ship. One thing that's going on tonight that we're very happy is happening tonight is Match Your Mate. And if you guys have been watching my videos for any amount of time, you guys know that Match Your Mate is one of my favorite activities on board any Disney cruise. It's an adult-only activity that I look forward to on every cruise, and it's happening tonight. So we made sure to heart that. We're going to make sure to get that done tonight as well. So we are about 15 15 minutes away from the mustard drill, which means it's time to uh, get ready to go and stand for an extended period of time. But thankfully after that is the sail away party, which I'm very much so excited for, so let's go. It took a little bit, but we climbed up all those flights of stairs from deck four all the way up to deck 12. We're up here and we have a pretty decent spot for the sail away party, thank God. Coda was a huge help too. She's right behind me, I'm sure you can see, and her dad. Huh. That's the big workout for the day. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget about us either. It's gonna be a Pluto. Oh, 
I genuinely believe this is the first time I have ever seen Deck 13 aft in the uh, Putt Putt area to be so crowded during a sail away. Only because we're parked kind of backwards and where we need to go is out that way. <laughs> It's just after 5 p.m. and we still haven't departed yet. I don't have a visual on any of the lines that are holding the ship down. So I have no idea how close we are or how far away we are from leaving. All right, we're giving up on watching sail away from the upper deck. We're gonna head on down to our room and chill out over there for a little bit. So, whenever we hit a million subscribers, I want that house right there in the corner so I can have my own private beach. And Coda says that she wants the beach so that way she can write playful messages in the sand for people to read on the ship as we're leaving. We got off the elevator and Coda turned the corner and saw all the Valentinos sitting up there and she about lost her mind. I love you. <laughs> oh, well, over here. I'm going for it. These are all the Marvel Day shirts that they have, it looks like, as, at least right now. It goes up to a 2X, so they don't exactly have it in my size, but it'll be a 2X eventually. So because the stores opened a little bit later than expected, there's definitely not a rush at all to come and get merchandise, which is actually really, really good. So we have our spirit jerseys over there, the dream, hello Coda. <laughs> we have our dream spirit jerseys over there, and we have our Marvel Day at Sea merch over there. Granted, there's not a whole lot of Marvel Day at Sea merch, but there is some, and we managed to grab a few shirts over here. Coda, do you want to show off the Marvel Day at Sea shirt real quick? Because I don't think I showed it. There's a good look at it. Marvel Day at Sea 2024. Not bad. I wish it had like a cruise ship on it, but you know what? I'll take it. So the show for this evening is going to be the Golden Mickeys. Unfortunately, Coda and I will not be partaking. We do have Paolo dinner at 7.30 and we wanted to get some shopping done in the meantime. So the first show is gonna be going on right now. We're gonna be heading back upstairs in a little bit just to go ahead and freshen up and get ready for Paolo dinner. And again, just like what we saw on The Wonder, all of this production right here is part of the pre-show for the Golden Mickeys. It's all woven into the story. It is so cool. Three, two, one. I'm Rose Rivers coming to you live from the red carpet where the biggest and brightest Disney star by right here for the party of the year. Yes, folks, we're at the beautiful Walt Disney Theater and what a night it's going to be. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss a moment of this amazing event. It is only moments till showtime, but we have some more stars here on the red carpet. Come on over. Now, with that being said, even though Coda and I are unfortunately not partaking in the Golden Mickeys tonight, I still highly recommend it for anyone, especially first time cruisers. Definitely not a show to be missed. We've just seen it five or six times already. <laughs> <laughs> Since the stores are not busy at all right now, let's go ahead and take a look at just some of the merchandise. I'm not going to go over absolutely everything. Oddly enough, right here, still, they are trying to get rid of 25th anniversary merchandise, which is actually kind of hilarious. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Find everything you were looking for? Yep. Alrighty. Over here we have our 2024 collection. Just like in our last video from the marathon, I showed you the 2024 collection they had at the Magic Kingdom. This is the stuff that is Disney Cruise Line specific. We have Captain Minnie over here, Captain Mickey on the other one. We have a couple of magnets, some little tumblers, some mugs, a bucket hat. Here's another look at the t-shirts. We even have a 2024 photo album and 
a 2024 jacket. Now see, if they had this design, but on a black shirt and not a tank top, I would totally buy it. It's very rare that you see me wearing just a plain white shirt, because I don't like wearing white, I prefer wearing darker colors. Uh, if it wasn't a tank top, I'd get it. So I was looking at this artwork earlier and I thought it was cute, but Coda pointed things out that just made it even better. So we have the Disney cruise ship over here, but it's got all the characters from all the other ships. We have Dumbo from the Fantasy, Rapunzel from the Wish. We have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Donald from, I believe it's the Wonder. We have Goofy on the Magic. That is so cool. Oh yeah, Sorcerer Mickey too for the dream. That is really cool. I actually really like this. And fitting in this same art style, they even have some iridescent photo frames and they have some ornaments. And brand new for 2024, we have a brand new Ashley Eckstein collection. She came out with a Disney Cruise Line line. Is that the proper way of saying it? Sure. <laughs> She's got a line of merchandise based around Disney Cruise Line and it is actually really cool. And yeah, Coda said they just posted it yesterday, but you can see over here it says Ashley Eckstein. What is that, a bag? Can I see? Oh, and you can slide it onto like your luggage. Sorry, let me stop flinging it around. <laughs> it's all right. That's very cute. Ooh, I actually kind of like this shirt. Sailing the dream. I kind of like it. <laughs> And not to worry guys, if you come on a Marvel Day at Sea cruise and you and your little ones don't have anything to wear, they got you guys covered, at least for the little ones. <laughs> well, that's some adult sizes too. They have some Black Panther, they have Spider-Man shirts over here, Captain America. It's actually really cool, they got you covered. And of course guys, they do have a little section over here of toiletries, medicines, and any other kind of miscellaneous items that you may have forgotten at home, you can find them here toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, uh, they have Benadryl, they have Claritin, they have sunscreen, sewing kits even, diapers, they have hauls, band-aids, Tylenol, Dramamine, you name it, they have it here. This is like the section of things that you forgot at home. Uh, and take a look at that guys, we're free to walk around the atrium without all of the crowds. Take a look at this, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I know I gush about the fantasy a lot, but the dream is the sister ship, almost identical to the fantasy, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Minus, you know, all the peacock decorations on the ground for the fantasy, this is more like a uh, seashell theme. It's still really nice. I love it. And of course, we can't not say hi to Captain Donald over there. <laughs> Just a little bit humid outside, causing the lens to fog up, but it is a beautiful evening. Koda and I are dressed up in our finest and are ready to go to Palo for dinner. You can barely see you. <laughs> hey, how did you have to find these weirdos? Now you know how we felt for the past 40 years. <laughs> I've married a chandelier. Looks like Pluto's pasta. They turned out Pluto, they have all this delicious pasta. La Preciosa is your designer. Your hair is a hot mess. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. It's okay, it's okay. Well, this is a section of Palo that we've never been in. And forgive Coda's hair. We were out in the open deck and it just has a mind of its own. Always. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very different section. We've never been like up here before. It's a little bit of an elevated platform. I really like it. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Palo menu. Over here up top, this is the prefix option. It is $50 and you can order one from each of these sections. You can go ahead and pause the video if you so desire. Moving on down, we have our appetizers and your salads and soups. Moving on down a little bit further, we have our pastas and pizzas. These are some of our entree options over here up top. My personal favorite being the seared scallops. We have our vegetarian options over here. And a little bit further down, we have our steakhouse options. Tonight we're going for the 28 ounce dry aged prime Angus porterhouse steak. And over here are your sides. So things are gonna work a little bit differently tonight at Palo. Because I am taking my weight loss injections, I am only able to eat a very little bit. The only thing I've eaten today was what I showed you at, um, 
cabanas for lunch and that was only a little bit and I'm still you know a little bit full for that but Coda and I are going to be sharing our meal tonight besides dessert because Coda will kill me if I even dare suggest sharing the chocolate souffle that she loves so dearly over here at Palo Dinner. We're gonna start off with a charcuterie board. It's a little bit light and I can pick off of that. And we're both gonna be sharing the Porterhouse steak. It's a 28 ounce steak. It is massive. I got it on my last cruise and it is really good. And we're gonna get a couple of sides to share as well. Overall, I'm really looking forward to this, but I am kind of sad that I'm not able to eat as much as I normally am, but it is a good thing as well. I am trying to lose weight after all. Let's enjoy. One of my favorite things to start off with here at Palo Dinner is the amuse bouche, which is a potato gnocchi. That's actually really hot. It's a potato gnocchi with porcini mushroom sauce. It is really good. Something to just wet your whistle, so to speak. All right, our appetizer has arrived. It's a little bit of a charcuterie board. <laughs> now, he took his time and pointed out everything and said what meat it was and how long it was aged for, where it came from. All I know is that it's meat and cheese. <laughs> I didn't retain anything that he said. Salami, prosciutto, forgot, parmesan, truffle. truffle. That's the only thing I held on to is the truffle. <laughs> I, I heard truffle and I was like, oh, <laughs> truffle? Okay. I want to say was like a... Oh my god, it goes with parmesan. It's cheese. cheese. It's not good for you. Lactose intolerant. What are you talking about? <laughs> so something that I noticed that I also pointed out when we were going to Alaska on the Wonder is First Night Palo is always super empty. It's wild how empty it is. They have half the restaurant closed off. And still, even with that, a lot of the tables are empty. That is wild. If you want to have a nice, intimate Palo experience that's a lot quieter than normal, First Night is the way to do it. Of course, that is if you're not a first-time cruiser. If you're a first-time cruiser, go to your main dining room, meet your dining team, and you know enjoy that experience. But if you're not a first-time cruiser, I love in our first night's nice way to go. Our plates and weapons have been delivered. They should know better than to give this one a stabbing weapon. Look at that smile. That is an evil smile. <laughs> they should know better than to arm this one. <laughs> Do you, is it exactly what I, what I like? So we do porterhouse, medium, we do gorgonzola sauce, porcini mushroom sauce, Ooh. and truffle sauce. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, guys, dinner is served. We have our porterhouse steak over there. We have our Yukon whipped mashed potatoes and our mac and cheese. The dinner of champions. Look at her, she's already doing her little happy dance. <laughs> I tell you guys what, this weight loss medication, is kicking my tail right now because last time we were here at Paolo in September on the Fantasy, I got a porterhouse all to myself. I had the mashed potatoes to myself and the mac and cheese to myself. And I demolished that almost. I didn't quite finish the porterhouse the last time I was here. But even eating not even half of it right now, we're, we're, you know, I'm splitting it with Coda, I'm struggling. I am struggling so hard. And I, and, and I was looking back and I was telling Coda, I can't believe I tackled that by myself the last time. You know, that was like, back in September. I was a lot bigger, obviously. I mean, not a lot bigger, I'm still pretty big. But you guys know what I mean. It just blows my mind. It is wild how this has changed me. Still really good though. Highly recommend. Like, oh, both of us? Yes, please. Beautiful. I probably should have gave a little bit of context. The chocolate souffle is the one item on any Disney Cruise Line ship that she refuses to share. And to be fair, the chocolate souffle is hands down the best dessert item on any Disney Cruise Line ship. If you're here at Palo Dinner, get it. I promise you, you will not regret it. Well, Coda took the fun out of the game and opened- <laughs> I wanna take my allergy pill. She opened the door and saw the towel animal. Now I have to guess what it is. And you're already wrong with turtle. I'm already wrong with turtle because I saw a tiny little peek of it. 
Is it a dog? No. Is it a stingray? No. Is it a giraffe? No. Is it an elephant? No. I got You're nothing be upset. else. <laughs> is it a dinosaur? No. Oh. How am I gonna be upset? Is it a teddy bear? No. Okay, let's see it. It's a crab! <laughs> it's a crab! How did you not get crab? I don't know. We always get a crab. <laughs> it's a crab. First towel animal of the cruise. Also, I asked our stateroom host to pull down the um, the bed thing over here because Coda wants to feel like a five-year-old and have a bunk bed. So don't get used to this, babe. It's only for tonight that you're getting a bunk bed. <laughs> so Coda and I, we just got done with Paolo dinner. Babe, what did you think? So good. Uh, incredibly good. Always a great time and the service is always 10 out of 10 phenomenal at Palo, especially for dinner. Oh my god, I feel like I gained all 30 pounds back that I lost over the last three months. Oh my god, <laughs> like I mentioned it earlier, I feel like I ate that whole steak by myself. It is, I am, I am feeling that heavy. It's wild, but it was still so good and so worth it. All right, sweetheart, where are we heading to now? Evolution? Evolution down on deck four for some match your mate. And here we are entering the district. Hello. Hi. How are you? Where are you off to tonight? Uh, we're actually heading into Evolution. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. Does that mean you're going to take part in match your mate? We've already played it on a different cruise. Oh, that's crazy. You already know all the questions. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. But you can still laugh at everyone else, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what we're here for. <laughs> well, head on in. You'll be able to be the first ones in just now, but get a drink, get comfortable. Well, Absolutely. Ten start majority rules, and then it'll be match your mate. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, I've already made my position on Evolution known. It's not quite my favorite um, space to hang out in. I definitely prefer what's it called, the tube on the Fantasy. But I can dig the butterfly theme from what it is. It's really nice. As you saw earlier, they said that we are the first ones in here, which is not a bad thing. We have our pick of the litter. Um, is that the proper wording? <laughs> we have the pick of the litter? Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> majority rules. So, how this is going to work? You're all going to work in teams. So look to your left, look to your right, tell them don't it up, okay? <laughs> so, you're going to come down here, you're going to grab a pile of paper and a pencil, write your team name at the top, and then, yeah, just come on down now, come and grab it. Now you're going to write down an answer, but you're going to write down what you think the majority will answer. It's the most popular answer. Then, while the music's playing, you're going to bring us your answer with your team name at the top. And, it's kind of in the name of the game, the majority answer is going to win. So, for example, let's do a little practice round. If I said, who's your favorite Disney character? You would say? Mickey. So, the winner would be? Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Question number one. Let's start easy. What is the best flavor of ice cream? So question number two was who oh is the sexiest God. Disney oh villain? Yeah. And just to mess with them, because I know they have to read them all, I put King Candy. <laughs> Coda said Hades, by the way. King Candy. <laughs> A real sweet tooth for him. Nice. Girl. Um, we also have the Evil Queen. So we just got asked what is the best ride at Walt Disney World? I put Flight of Passage. I'm very curious to see what other people are going to say. <laughs> Let's go for Carousel of Progress. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain. That's good. That was a good one, but it didn't win. Expedition Everest. Yay, that's yeah! Woohoo! That's my favorite. Dumbo. Aww. But he had a lovely story. He said that him and his family were on the ride while they were watching the fireworks. 
It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Norway, bring it back! Who picked Disney Cruise? Oh. Hey. Where are you, Marvelous 2? I see what you're doing. You're trying to burn me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Rise of Resistance? Yeah! But the winners are... Space Mountain! When they come back, they're gonna try and guess the answer you have given us, okay? Breathe, breathe. You're okay, breathe. Are you ready for your first question, my friends? I don't think you'll ever be ready, but we're gonna do it anyway, Roberto, okay? Here we go. Your first question. Nice and easy. Where was your first date? Where did you go? Who paid? What did you eat? What did you see? I wanna know it all. Question number two. What would you say is your partner's most annoying habit? <laughs> if you could all describe your current love life with one of these famous Disney songs, which one would it be? Would it be A? <laughs> over and under on a magic carpet ride. <laughs> carpet burn. <laughs> or would it be this one. <laughs> you can interpret that any way you want. <laughs> or is it this one? For the first time in <laughs> I have a ball with no balls. <laughs> All right, let's get started with question number one. Who is your partner's celebrity crush? What is your partner wearing top to bottom? What is your partner wearing from top to bottom? Where is the best place? You and your partner discovered the magic. So I come out of the bathroom and Coda found snacks. <laughs> what do you got? You don't know? It just looked good? You grabbed it? Well, that looks like a kebab of some kind. Let's go see what they have. <laughs> So they have a beef empanada, they have, oh, chicken satay, that's what that is. We have, um, goujons of whitefish, okay. They also have Thai prawn fritters as well. Interesting. I'm not going to be partaking, but it looks interesting. On that note, it is worth mentioning that every evening at around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, they do put some hot appetizers out in the uh, district lounge over here on the Disney Dream. So make sure you check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, we are going to bring day one of our five night Disney Cruise Line vacation, Marvel Day at Sea to a close. Today was a very, very long day and a very lengthy video. I know I threw a lot of information at you guys, but that's just what I do here. Not only am I bringing you guys along on this adventure, but I'm also helping you guys plan the best Disney Cruise Line vacation possible. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed any bit of today's video, please help us out by leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. We just hit 50,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 100K, and I would love to have you guys be a part of this journey. They are getting Marvel meet and greet set up over there, so that's where that background noise is coming from. But tomorrow's video is going to be even longer and more jam-packed than this one because tomorrow is our Marvel Day at Sea. The whole reason why we booked this cruise, the whole reason why we're here, we are getting up bright and early at 7 a.m. because Marvel meet and greets start at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. If you guys are interested at all in seeing what Marvel Day includes, make sure you keep it tuned right here to the channel because we are going to be covering it all for you guys. If you guys made it this far into the video, please help me out by dropping a comment down below and leaving the word cruise down in the comment section below. It would really help us out. But with that, I'm going to go ahead up to my stateroom and get some shut eye. Thank you all so much once again for watching today's video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.